Hello my lovely ravens, welcome back to my channel. My name is Chantelle and today I have an unboxing for you. Now this is a collaboration with my friend Jen. We decided on our favorite color and vintage. So this would be a green vintage parcel with green stuff and vintage stuff. And she will receive a purple one from me with purple vintage stuff in it. So. Without further ado, let's just open it up because it's this parcel took way too long to get here. I think someone sat on it though. Look at it. And I, I, I can see glitter. I can see glitter, green glitter. But uh, I have a feeling they opened it. But let's see what we get, all right? I need a knife. Or something sharp. Here we go. Normally it says on the box if they've opened it. Oh, well. We shall see. <clears throat> so Jen and I like to send each other parcels um, a couple of times a year. Ooh, fluffy. <laughs> I get Grinch vibes. I don't think they opened it. No, I don't think they did. They just sat on it. Anyway lovely card i bet she made this herself hi chantelle welcome to the green box your challenge you should should you choose to accept it create a, a green journal i can't even speak can you hear that create a green journal this was a lot of fun to put together i hope you love it as much as i do happy crafting again love that card Grinch vibes I kind of feel like I should use this for the outside of the journal, right? <laughs> that would be fun. Oh, I love this. It's so soft. It's so soft. Oh, she wrapped it all in this. It's so soft. I kind of feel like I should make a Grinch doll now or something. We have some green... What do you call this? Netting? Tool? It's shiny, and I am here for it. I love this. So shimmery. <clears throat> Mermaid vibes, though. We have some green yarn. But it's cotton, so it's good to um, use uh, for binding a journal, I suppose. I love this. I love these napkins. They are gorgeous. Okay, let's go to this one. What is this? This is vinyl paper. Permanent vinyl paper in green. So I assume this is just sticky vinyl. Yep, and you can use it in your Cricut or cutting machine or whatever brand you have. Love it. Go back in there. So far, I don't think anything has been damaged. Let's just take this Grinch stuff out. A very large piece of a green floral and bee fabric. I love this one fabric that is not yellow is so different and these are kind of metallic no can you tell gorgeous I can see lace oh, this is so beautiful is it this way or this way I don't think it matters ah look at this this is beautiful. I love this. Okay, what else have we got? Paper glaze for dimensional designs and laminating. I have a few glazes. I've never heard of this one before. Also, 
Aline's, um, we can hardly get that here. So, adds a glass-like dimensional layer to cards and stamp designs. I'm curious to try this out. We have something inside this very gorgeously wrapped parcel. Uh, Jen told me that she bought a wedding dress just to cut it up. And I assume that this is from that. How gorgeous would this be to use on a journal? Love this. Though this is a very scratchy wedding dress though. Not sure if it would be mine. Well. It's not because I've, I'm already married and I know what I got married in. Anyway, we have some pearls. I think they're pearls. Gem adhesive, pearl adhesive things. I do like this fabric though. It's like a lace, but different. Same but different. K and Company, a green letters. I was going to say numbers for a moment there. Oops. And we have some more stickers, letters, and some more stickers in travel theme. Travel? Yeah, I would call that travel theme. I love that. This is different. I've never seen this one before. Beautiful though. And what do we have here? Ooh, okay, this one first. This is cheesecloth, but it's green. I will keep this one for the creatures I want to create that I spoke about in my last vlog. And um, yeah, I love this. It's a gorgeous color. Sage. something in here this looks like one of those um, vintage uh, handkerchiefs I would probably use that to use in my own hair or as a like a handkerchief <laughs> awesome we have here keys and I really don't care that the prizes are still on there we have corners and keys and I love Tim Holtz so that's always good Ooh, what's this? This looks like Christmas deco. But there's like a string of like um, pearl beads. And we have, ooh, I love this. I'm not much, I'm not much for our sparkles. Ooh, this is actually sticky. Or supposed to be sticky. <laughs> uh, so I'm not one for sparkles, but this tape is gorgeous. Look at it. Ooh, super sparkle. Just taking all the sparkles out. And here we have more sparkle ribbon. So glittery. Oh, I love this one. I love the muted kind of greens, but I love that too, by the way. Anyway, we have this... Um, Muted green fabric ribbon. What's in here? We have some gorgeous glass beads and some sari silk. What's in here? Another handkerchief. <gasps> Tim Holtz! Oh, I love those clips. They are awesome. Hinge clips. Ha! Green eyelets. Always good. Perfect for a green journal. Ah! Oh, distress outside. Oh, what's this? Harry Potter playing cards. This is um, 
an oxide. I have no oxide yet, so that will be really cool to use. And what's this? Harry Potter playing cards. I have to open it. The packaging is amazing. Wingardium Leviosa, Expectro, Expecto Patronum. Do I have to, like, do I have to open it there? Do I have to break the seal? Ah. Okay, I'm trying to be really gentle here. Okay, there we go. And here it says Obliviate, Obliviate and Alohomora. Oh, look at the foiling. This packaging has been well thought out. Can you see that? That's beautiful. It says Hogwarts on the inside with an owl. And the cards, they are amazing. Look at those. And in the back, Oh, that's Neville, Luna, Snape, uh, the Diadem, oh, what's this one? That is the sword. Okay. And then we have um, Black, McGonagall, Dumbledore, um, Foley, Bellatrix, uh, Malfoy, and then that has the locket in it. That's Harry, Hermione, Ron, and that is the cup. That is amazing. Amazing, and the back of the cards look like this. Love it, love it, love it. This is gonna go on my Harry Potter bookshelf. And I'm gonna leave the seal on there because that's pretty cool. And then another handkerchief. What's in here in this beautiful shiny fabric? Something is hidden. It is alcohol ink. <laughs> in the color green. Kelly Green. <laughs> Her name is Jen Kelly. <laughs> <laughs> and then let me just take this out let's see what do we have we have K and Company designer paper which are all very very green I'm not sure if I'm liking the pink in there but there's also some designs without pink And then we have Attractive Time Pattern Paper. So it's single sided and vintage. We've got a ship, we've got some flowers and greens. We have another ship. I'm getting travel vibes. Love this one. Map and a compass. A banner and it said honey it says honey and grains. Some Baroque background, the Eiffel Tower, oh, some travel, um, how do you call it, S um, collage, sheet music, and a gentleman, and these just look like more fun floor towels to me. Some vintage background papers. 
I want to thank Jen for sending me all of this and also for doing this collaboration with me. I'm very grateful to call her my friend. And let me know in the comments down below, what would you do with this? What items would you use in a journal and how would you put it together? Let me know in the comments down below. My brain straight away goes to travel for some reason, probably because of these items and probably because of the clips and the keys and the vintage papers and I don't know, it just goes to travel. Um, yeah, uh, le let me know in the comments down below what you will do with these supplies and look forward to me and Jen both creating something from the items we've sent. For now, I want to thank you so much for watching and I'll see you all in the next one.